Hey everybody, Steve here, and today I want to talk about car amplifiers. And the reason why I want to talk about car amplifiers is because I've got two amps in two of my cars, and I listen to pretty loud, aggressive music, and these things get hot. I mean, very hot. Like 80 degrees Celsius plus hot, basically too, too hot to touch, hot. So after a little research, I decided to build a little contraption that'll help keep my amps cool, and you can too. Stick around, this is gonna be fun. Okay, so I've got a big board of MDX, and I'm gonna be making my box out of this board. Obviously the walls need to be at least as high as the fan so that I can attach the fan, but I don't want them to be too high because if they're too high, they won't fit under the seat. So I think my goal is to try to minimize the height, but maximize the utilization of the fans. All right, so I am cutting the walls for the enclosure in the snow. The dedication to the channel. All right, back on the job again, and this time the weather's nicer. Although you'd think it was warm out here, but it didn't. It is not. All right, so we got our four walls done, and now I'm gonna use a circle saw, or the circle cutter. Cut some holes for the uh, fans on each side. All right, so I measured where I want my fans to be and I drew crisscrosses to find the center hole so that I can use this guy to cut some holes. Alright, so I've got my circles drawn uh, for the fans, obviously, and now I need to work on the other two sides, which are where the wires are going to come in, so I've got to figure out exactly where I need to cut to accommodate uh, the four gauge power wire and the ground and everything else. Alright, so I've decided to move this up into the shop because it's a little bit warmer, and i got a fan going right here. It's just basically being connected to 12 volts. So I've got to wire all four of these fans together. So uh, I've got uh, this little quadcopter distribution board that I've had forever. You don't need to use one of these, obviously. You could just um, run all the four red wires together, run all the four black wires together. I'm just going to do it this way. Fan is running off of 12 volts. And I just wanted to figure out which side is the blow side and which side is the suck side. My The logo is blowing at me right now, so that's going to be the blow side. So I'm going to figure out how to wire these things up, probably solder all of them to the distribution board. Then I'll have two wires that are going to the switch, and then the switch will go to power. All right, I've got very limited room. i got to be very, very careful where I put the thermostat. So uh, I think I can end up putting the thermostat right here on the wall there. So that's where that's going to go. All right, so i got a little mock-up here of what I hope this thing will look like. i got the pullers right there. And the pushers right there and it's all going to be in this box and then i'm going to hang the thermostat here so i can see it and uh i've got the two little slits on the side so i have access to my panels and now it's just a matter of um, figuring out the wiring all right so i wanted to give myself easy access to the thermostat so it is going to be facing outward when you open up the door of the truck and i drilled a couple holes to get the wires to come through cleanly so this is what this looks like. This is going to be one of the pushers. There's the outside of it. I'm going to go ahead and do the other three. All right, so mocked up. Here we are so far. I got a pushers. I got the thermostat. And I got my pullers right there behind the glue. It's holding everything up. Drilled a little hole because I'm going to take all my wires underneath to try to keep it as clean as I can. Okay, so I have glued the box together, and in an effort to try to get it to dry faster, I've got all four fans hooked up just temporarily with a DC power source. And I'm just going to let this sit here for a couple hours and dry up. All right, so it's been 24 hours, and I'm ready to take these uh, clamps off and flip it over and start working on the wiring. Okay, so I know my soldering leaves much to be desired, but... All of the wires are wired into the distribution board, and uh, I've got to lengthen my power wires. 
All right, so I'm uh, gonna run a preliminary test before I put it in the car and the, this thermostat, I've got it set to where if it gets hotter than 41, it comes on and it will stay on until it comes back down to 30. So, waiting for it to clear, it's at 27.7 now, using the light as a heat source. That's gonna drive, the, drive this guy up. When it hits 40, it comes on. It's actually 30.1. And there it goes. It's working beautifully. so it's about time I wrap up this video. Um, this mod has been awesome. Uh, my amp used to get way north of 80 degrees Celsius, 85 degrees Celsius. I don't know, whatever, whatever, uh, is too hot to touch. And, uh, for the last hour I have been blaring very aggressive music and these push pull fans have cooled it down to 32 degrees and just held it there, even with the seat down where it was not getting a whole lot of air. So uh, I'm very, very impressed with the way this thing works. I didn't even put a top on it yet. I'll probably make some uh, uh, improvements on it and uh, do a subsequent video. But for now, try to keep this one as short as possible. Pfft. Yeah, me keeping stuff short, that's a joke. But anyhow, um, this thing was easy to make. Four fans, a little bit of wood, and, um, and the thermostat. So uh, I highly recommend you do it. I'll leave what you need in parts in the description. And uh, you can grab them on Amazon. But uh, if you got an amp that's too hot to touch, I uh, highly recommend doing this. So I'm Steve signing off. Do me a favor. If you like the video, like, comment, subscribe. And don't forget to hit that little bell to give you notifications for when I come out with uh, new videos right away. So uh, this thing's amazing. Highly recommend it. Do it. I'll see you in the next video.